today's event has been a great opportunity to draw some parallels between shared services in the business world and shared services in the university sector. Um, we've been conducting research in shared services for around 10 years now, starting with a look at the finance function, but also some of the more traditional business areas like human resources, uh, procurement, logistics and IT. Of course, those are areas where universities could go as well, but the university sector has developed its own unique take on shared services outsourcing and shared procurement. Some of these are what we could call high road approaches, such as the Manufacturing Technology Centre or the Education Shared Information Security Service, or more transactional services where uh, institutions, and there's probably only one or two examples of these across the sector, uh, share things like student services, uh, inquiries, registry functions, accommodation and so on. It's much more common, and there are good examples here in London of this, of uh, services such as catering, cleaning and some of the uh, more labour intensive process to, processes to be shared as well. One of the interesting things is that we don't yet know where we'll go in the future. So for example, looking at some more contentious ideas, uh, is a student's grade simply a transaction to be processed and could that be handled anywhere in the world? Is there a potential for offshoring or outsourcing of more uh, registry functions for the future? These are quite difficult and contentious areas which universities haven't necessarily considered yet. Going forward, running some shared service forums, essentially developing a community of practice for people from the higher education sector who are interested in developing uh, shared views on uh, what makes shared services work and uh, shared case studies. We've run similar forums, around 18 of them actually, with organisations in the business and public sectors. So this is the first time we've done this with the university sector.